Intravenous immunoglobulin, IVIG, is not helpful in treating women with unexplained recurrent miscarriage. And for now at least, it should not be used outside the research setting. These are the findings of a report published in the journal Fertility and Sterility. Since immunologic disorders have been suggested to be related to recurrent miscarriage, the authors reviewed published literature to reassess the potential benefits of IVIG. They found six randomized controlled trials that met their inclusion criteria. In their review, the authors found that the overall odds ratio for live birth in women treated with IVIG was 0.92. They found no difference in that outcome when analyzing women with primary or secondary recurrent miscarriage, nor when looking at whether IVIG was started before or after conception. The authors also said they could find no trend suggesting IVIG would have been more effective at higher doses. Based on their findings, the authors said three things need to happen before IVIG should be offered to women with unexplained recurrent miscarriage. First, a specific pathologic process leading to recurrent miscarriage that is treatable with IVIG has to be identified. Second, a reliable, reproducible diagnostic algorithm pinpointing who would benefit needs to be developed. And third, an optimal treatment schedule needs to be determined. Until then, the authors conclude, IVIG administration for treatment of recurrent miscarriage is not justified outside the context of properly designed, randomized controlled trials. This is Dr. William Ferdet for Reuters Health, the Doctor's Channel Daily Newscast.